Hi friends, welcome to the part 4 of AZ305 All Real Questions Design MS Azure Infrastructure. If you have not subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button and stay tuned to the latest questions and knowledge base around cloud certifications, primarily AWS, GCP, and Azure. Let us jump into the questions. So the question says you have so many web apps. So web apps is used to create and deploy critical web applications. And this web app is making use of Azure Key Vault to store the encryption keys. That is what it is doing. Now, Key Vault is capable of securely storing and accessing secrets. The secrets can be encryption keys or credentials. Now, they have given the request for each and every department. But let us look at the question first. We have to recommend a service which will fit each department's request. So, this is the question for security. What should we use out of these? So security says like if a member still wants continued membership they want to provide a justification the second is if there are some more administrator assignments happening you need to get alerts and the third is get a history of administrator activation when someone became an administrator and what are the stuff they are doing and then you also want to know what changes administrators made to the azure resources so these all are possible using the pim that is a privilege identity management so this is a service which helps you manage, control, and monitor access to important resources in your organization. Now, if you consider managed identity, the main purpose here is to relieve the developers from the management of secrets, credentials, and etc. You know, developers in few due course of time, they want to access so many services seamlessly, like Azure Key Vault for encryption and decryption. Databases, if they are writing ETL routines using their factory they want that access so developers can securely store these secrets in azure key vault services will need a way to access the key vault and that is exactly what managed identities do they provide automatic managed identity in ad for applications to use when connecting to resources that support ad here if you see this section this section is not talking about seamless access across the services it is not talking about that now, third one, which is called AD Connect. If you are implementing hybrid solution, hybrid cloud, where you have on-premises as well as Azure cloud, then you use AD Connect. It is an on-premises Microsoft application. Here, it will not fit the bill because in this question, in this section, nobody is talking about anything about on-premises. The fourth one, that is Azure AD product, Identity Protection. This is something which is not true. So identity protection, primarily, for example, you have gaming applications like Xbox. Then in that case, if you did try to learn from the mistakes by analyzing tons of signals in a day and they respond to customers to protect from threats. In this section, are we talking about threat protection from to the customers? No. Now let us look at development. This is the piece for development this is very clear they have applications they want to enable applications to access key vault and retrieve keys for use now this is what exactly we need managed identity this helps developers to avoid the management of secrets and it enables multiple applications like that developers can store the secret keys in azure key vault and managed identities provide automatically managed identity in active directory for applications to use this is exactly what our question here is saying they want applications to access keys in the key vault and retrieve it automatically this can be done through managed identity remember this thumb rule this means the remaining three are wrong i'm not going to explain these three in detail because i already did that when i explained this security portion now here quality assurance team they have these options they just need temporary administrator access to create additional web apps in the test environment so if you see this documentation, PIMS, that is Privilege Identity Management, it has the feature to provide just in time role activation for temporarily elevating the role based on the access defined for a period of time. So PIM is my answer. I have already explained the remaining three when I was covering security. So these are my final answers. Now let us look at the next one. See, you got a subscription. So this is your subscription. And these green boxes are your virtual machines you have 300 of them and they all have windows server on top of it 
you want to centrally manage the warding events in the system logs of the virtual machines. See, virtual machines, there might be always some sort of warning getting released. You want to monitor these. What is uh, the best way to monitor this in a centralized way? What resource you will have to create? See, log analytics workspace is meant. It is born to store the log data from Azure Monitor and other Azure services. It can also be, in this case, VM. And this is a mechanism to maintain the data centrally. Each workspace has its own data repository. Okay. And how many workspaces can we use? We can use a single workspace and it can have the data collection from multiple services. So log analytics workspace would be my answer, but let us scan other options. So event hub, this is a real time integration solution. You can receive telemetry data. You know what is telemetry? That means something from IoT devices, internet of thing devices. You can have millions of devices, sensors and so on, and it will send data. You can use event hubs to receive those data sets. Is the question talking anything about real time integration, IoT devices and so on? No, that's why event hub is wrong. Then a search service. See, this is a service provided by Azure if you want to build Google-like application. Google, Yahoo Search, if you want to build a search application, then it provides you APIs, it provides you infrastructures and tools to build such uh, tools. Does the question say that you want to build a search engine or a Google-like application? No, that is why search service is wrong. Then we have a storage account. This is the usual storage in Azure. It includes so many different types of storage like standard, general purpose, premium blocks, file shares, and page blobs. The system logs from an alert perspective, we do not store it in storage accounts because we have a space called log analytics workspace meant for this purpose. Now, what is the configuration you want to perform on virtual machines? The first one says you would create event subscriptions. See, this is an action we do when we want to get events or alert, alerts about the event. The first thing to do is you, what you want to do on the virtual machines. On the virtual machines, you will need a monitoring agent, right? You have created a log analytics workspace, but how will the data get transferred from these 300 virtual machines to the log analytics workspace? You need a monitoring agent. And hence, this Azure monitor agent is my answer because it collects monitoring data from the operating system of Azure hybrid virtual machines and so on. So it will collect the data and then that data will go to log analytics workspace. So create event subscriptions is wrong. Now let us talk about continuous delivery. This is all about CI CD pipeline. If you want to do deployment, does this question talk about deployment? No, it is talking about warning events in the system logs. That's why this is wrong. Now the third one says that you need to modify the event log readers group now who can read these events that is a secondary question that is not done on virtual machines that is a system which will be done either on cloudwatch or some log analytics workspace or some other service not on virtual machine that is why this is wrong so this is my final answer see in this question there are two companies one company already has been using Active Directory, the other company does not use Active Directory, they use a third party authentication tool. Now, people from these two companies, developers from these two companies need to talk to each other to build an application and you need them to provide access to the logic apps. The solution must meet following requirements. See, these are the requirements, key requirements. The developers from other company should still use Auth 2.0 and the solution does not require changes in, in any logic apps. and the solution should not use guest accounts. So what should we use here? Now, if we scan through the options, see first thing, whenever you see two things, two things. The first is you are seeing an Active Directory tenant. The other is you are seeing OAuth 2.0 third party tools. The answer is API management. Always remember this thumb rule. Now, what about front door? What is a front door? This is something which is used as a CDN. It provides content delivery network. That means it will help you create applications and deliver it fast, high availability, low latency, and you can have greater scalability and more secure experiences. In the AWS world, this is similar to CloudFront. Then we have AD application proxy. So this gives you remote access to on-premises applications. The question is not talking about remote access. The question is talking about a security kind of solution. 
then the option C says to use AD B2B that is business to business. So using this feature, you can invite guests to collaborate in your organization. Suppose you are working for Accenture. So you can invite guests from Infosys to collaborate in your organization using Active Directory B2B. These are like it will invite guests and guests can have access to some portion in your organization. This is called collaboration. So here, even though there are two companies and they have to access the data and uh, co-develop, but in this case, we are talking about you know leveraging tenants and auths together that's why b2b is wrong so this api management would be my answer see it is a common hybrid multi-cloud platform for apis across all environments and it also helps you with oauth to authorization it will work with that as well that is what our question is looking for and hence this would be my final answer hey friends if you have not yet subscribed please hit the subscribe button Click the join button and become a member. This brings us to the end of part four. This channel is totally dedicated to cloud certifications, AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud. Stay tuned. See you in the next part.